Hello guys, and welcome back! We're last left off, um, most of Western and Central Europe has just fallen to the Evil Dutch Empire! No one can stand up to us! You know, except, uh, maybe Russia at this point, but... We'll have to jump in pretty quick before, you know, the other major powers actually die off, because, um, Germany is down to two regions, and Austria is down to... What, uh, seven? Yeah, seven. I mean, there's also, uh... Was it Serbia in Sicily? Uh, there's that one in Spain. There's uh, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark still alive. And, of course, Romania. But, uh, that's about it. The list of nations grows smaller every day. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, let's continue then. So, what, what was I doing? I had this force ready to invade over here. Let's also go into the Balkans, I believe. Yeah, this next turn. And I got a rebellion in, um, Portugal to deal with. Yeah, just trying to remind myself, it's been nearly two weeks since I've actually recorded anything on this. I've been... A bit busy trying to do other uh, parts of my channel. Also, about the time of this recording, uh, the general election in the UK will have its results shown in like an hour. So yeah, that's that's going to be fun. Find out who's going to mess up the country this time. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway, I believe, uh, since all we can do is, uh, take down the last position in Italy, might as well get to it. So, who we got? We'll stuff as many units as we can in here. And, oh wait! Oh, I guess, I guess I'm waiting! Never mind, I guess past me wanted me to wait. I think... I should, you know, it should be fine. You know what, forget past me's decisions, I will... I'll just come over here and make my own. I could just... Hmm. I could just avoid the battle entirely if I just attack... Well, not avoid the battle entirely, but I could... I get rid of these entirely if I just... Fight this army, so... Yeah, uh... I will see you then, when... I destroyed this army. See then. Okay. So I'm at a point in the Let's Play where I believe I don't need to show every single battle anymore. I used to do that, you know, I used to show every battle that I could. Might not anymore. Might, might cut out a few times. Cause you know the drill. You've known the drill for like the part, the, the past, the part. I was gonna say, the past like 70 ish parts, you've known what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow them up. Speeding up, uh, you know, it helps. It stops from being like three parts long, but all the same, you know what's gonna happen. So I'll keep it going for a little bit, you can get a taste of action. And uh, what I might do is I'll just cut out, you know? Depends how long this battle's gonna last. Maybe I'll destroy the main force and then cut back when their armies have broken upon mine. You know, we won't get those times when I come up, came up with a big story about the German helmet and then decided to animate myself. No, we probably won't get those moments as, as much anymore, but... You know, I think it'll be worth it. I think I got enough footage of battles happening and Austrians dying. Certainly Germans dying at this point. I think I've filmed more Germans dying than French people at this point. Have I? I'm not sure, actually. I, d I don't know if I can make that claim. I did film a lot of French people dying, but that was back when the Let's Play originally started. And god, I wish I could redo the beginning of this Let's Play. So many problems with audio. First off, the sounds was too loud. And then for a long period, my mic was too loud. At least in my opinion. I don't know what you guys thought. Never, I never saw a complaint, but I noticed it when I finally regained hearing in both my ears. And I looked back. And yeah, well, I mean, my mic was pretty loud. I mean, you can turn it down on your computer, so it doesn't matter, but... 
I know it's, it's pretty loud. So I've turned I've turned it down, you know. Uh, I don't know how that's affecting it. I'm still. Oh, we've actually killed quite a lot of them in this small ramble. I've only going for like two minutes on this part. Well, two minutes in this battle. Uh, and most of them are gone. So yes, that happened, and now we're probably gonna have a massive wait for things to happen. And besides, we all want to see the end of this Let's Play. Maybe some want to see it quicker than others, and some don't want to see it at all. Maybe you're enjoying... Uh, what's... I honestly have been enjoying the series. It has been a great series. I love the idea of this evil Dutch Empire that I came up with. It was, I mean, everything I've done so far is an empire, though. I've had the whole, uh, not the Holy Roman Empire, but the New Roman Empire, got the evil Dutch Empire, even the, the small, short-lived, uh, evil Swiss Empire, still an empire. Gotta come up with another title. Maybe just the name. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I will cut back when... Something interesting happens, or the results, so I will see you then. Okay, so this squad is gonna go take down this random artillery piece at the side. If I can, uh... Have him just melee charge. Also, we got a massive pile of, like, riflemen coming straight up at me. See how that goes? Uh, I don't believe they'll be able to break my army. Got a ton of artillery back here, though, which is a, a small problem, because some of them are actually light houndsers. Are they? Yes, there's one there. And, of course, there's the one over here. I'm planning to just sneak attack around the back with everyone. Uh, are you going to kill them? Uh, seem to not be getting on with the killing. In fact, I would say you're doing the exact opposite. Just kill them. Maybe shooting them would help? But I don't, I don't know at this point. But okay, that worked. Okay, so now go and take down all the field guns at the back while the majority of the army is up here. See, I'll just show the rest of this battle. You haven't missed much. You missed about three minutes, I think, of some artillery bombardments. Not too much. Why are you organized like that? Oh yes, a very thin line. More like a column. That's the most efficient way to kill people. Learned that in school, I did. Didn't actually kill anyone, or we killed one person. Not sure if that was it was already dead or not. Uh, your guns are facing backwards. Uh, do you plan to use those guns? Oh yeah, by the way, uh, they're kind of melee attacking me here. Can't see because of the trees, but. I think we're winning. Honestly, I, th I think I can tell we're winning here. There's a big pile up down there. That shouldn't be too much of a problem if I just tell everyone to attack. Maybe. Should I send more men? Probably send a few more men. Since we destroyed the rest of the line? Why not? We, get, we got men to spare. We got men to just throw at any situation. Like this one. How's it going over here? You haven't done... I mean, you've done an okay job. You've done better. To be honest. Oh well, might as well just charge the rest of them.
And we got that combat engineer group. And now we got uh, these dead people over here. Said that a little too early. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Now we got these dead people over here. Look at all these dead people. That was finally amazing that these people are attacking with knives. Versus everyone with a bayonet. Rather, uh, rather have a bayonet in that situation. If I'm being completely honest, you know, might be a bit controversial, but I'd actually prefer a bayonet in that situation. <laughs> Look at this, it's like a little, a little caravan, people. No, we can only have six horses, and then we have to get off because it caught up to us. Should probably stop you from firing. Just in case, yeah, just in case you do that. Although you did help, you know. Don't believe you would help anymore, though. I think that's the max amount of help I'm gonna get. There's also a... That's actually quite a professional unit. I think. Foot guard, so... Let's uh, have everyone aim at them. You will chase down... The artillery people who are just running straight towards my lines. I don't know what's going on at the back here. Don't worry, we'll make sure they don't hit hard from behind. Okay, I, the machine gun shuffle was one for night. I don't know what this Austrian dance is. Uh, are those native Austrians in my subscriber base? Tell me. What is this? The, the machine gun grab? Is it, is it a maneuver? Is that what they're taught? Please tell me. Let me know. And in the meantime, we're still chasing down the people who are walking. We're exhausted, though. Maybe we can shoot them. Not quite, uh... Got one. Two. Might have got a few more back there, I didn't quite see. Nope, just two. And over here, we're... It's gonna take a while. And now they're on the move. Well, I'll see you the results, because I believe I'm done with this battle. So I'll see you then. So in the final push for Italy, we killed 3,838 men, with the loss of only 690 men. Most of those were conscripts as well. So, I believe it's unguarded enough for us to just walk in. 46 losses to everyone else. And we have taken the entire Italian peninsula. There's only Sicily, and then we can officially claim all of Italy. It's all mine. Now, now I gotta find something else to do. Although I don't think I can do anything else this turn. So, I will see you next turn. By God! They're offering me peace for nothing in exchange? I'm almost tempted to give it to them just because they're not asking for anything. Uh, and they're feeble and destitute, which, uh, you know, compared to my terrifying and spectacular power and wealth, I'm almost tempted to give it to them, but of course, no. Initiative 17 is still in effect. I've still got uh, five more nations to kill because of that. You know, I've, I've done pretty well. Oh. Oh god, I never saw that coming. Run! Run fervor! No! My entire army! Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Uh, maybe if I hard resolve, one ship will survive? Cargo ships. Uh, light cruisers. I could give you a naval battle, but uh, I... No, I lost everything. Everything was lost. Including the massive army bound for Norway. A secret German-Norwegian pact has been made against the evil Dutch Empire. Uh, no, I don't think that that one lot of recruits is going to attack that army. Everyone was lost. That's the single biggest loss I think I've ever suffered. 
in comparison to the enemy. Oh, those tricky Germans! God damn it! I just lost everyone! Looks like we're not gonna have to invade for, like, Copenhagen or something when Germany's dead. So this invasion cannot happen until Germany's dead. Because their navy's just too powerful. In the meantime, how's this Portuguese rebellion going? Not going at all. Can I just go kill you? If I just do that. Let resolve. There we go. Now just go back and defend the capital. Okay. Uh, I believe we're in the Balkans now. If I can send my men. Ah, they've defended the Balkans. Who's that? You look important, but I don't know, actually know what you, you've done, if anything. I'll leave you there. Uh, got an army attacking Vienna, which I'll want to take care of. Have you there? They can have massive reinforcements. My main army is down here. Oh yeah, I probably want to repair that. Should have done that last turn. Okay, we've got this army that's going to be bound... Probably for Denmark. Got this army here. Just going to take out and put you in there. I'm not making as many men as I want you to. Uh, I'll keep you around... In fact, I might as well just keep you in. Can't do anything yet, so I'll just leave it around. Hmm. Well, uh, that is the end of this part, folks. So thanks for watching. And in the next part... The Balkans or the battle against the Germans at Vienna? Well, you'll find out next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Later, guys.